Okay, here we go. This is a tutorial on how to make your Utah sing. For now, we're just using Defoco here, default, for this tutorial. It's this is the English patch. You can clearly see like the English words here and stuff. What we're gonna do is insert words into the lyrics right there. The lyrics, the lyrics box. Since my keyboard already has like the Japanese text, what we're gonna do is switch it. It's already set to hiragana. So we're gonna type in A, which is this. Enter. And then you push this button here, which is insert lyrics. And there you go, it already appears here. C4 is like the default note setting. All, all the notes that you've hit with insert button of the insert lyrics will end up at C4. It will always end up here. It will always. You hit play to hear, you hit play, play region, and then you automatically hear the voice playing. If you want to make it a little longer, last a little longer, adjust, just stretch the box out here. You're wondering what these little wave curves line. That's a vibrato. This is for making her sound, making the voice shaky or something like that. You pull this tart, you make it hit through all these nodes. These waves will hit through the nodes. Sound a little awkward, right? And you flat if you flatten it out, then she's gonna sing a straight solid a straight and solid note. Okay, you can also move this box up or down. Very awkward. I'm just going to be playing with this a bit. You can stretch this to make it like go all the way to the end to make her to make her treble at the end. Or you can put this all the way back that her voice will be quavering for the whole thing. This little box right here you if you when you drag it it just makes it shorter longer wave frequencies. And if you pull it back it makes it faster and faster and more shorter wave frequencies. I've never done that before, just to be honest. Just to be honest, I never tried that and that is so cool. <laughs> but we're just gonna stick right there. And this other box right here also controls it controls the starting point and the end point of the wave. This box here like adjusts like where it's gonna be fl the end wave will be flattened out. It will be flattened out a bit. And this will also be flattened out a bit. Oh my gosh, that is so messed up. <laughs> Never mind. Let's just fix it back to the way it was. Let's just fix this back. Let's just fix this back. Let's delete this. You click on this. You click on that tab and then delete. We're just gonna play the same note again. And there it is back. We're gonna mess with the envelope tool. We're gonna mess with the envelope tool, which is basically this little pink outline surrounding the box. This is your when you edit this, you pull on the points and it edits the sound. This will edit how this the sound will act. There the box shape will change and she will sound different. Notice how she sounds a bit louder. Of course if you shrink it back there's you're gonna get of course if you had it set in a certain way and you shrink it back, there's you're gonna get an error. But this isn't like the kind of note that would probably get an error. 
If you want to add a rest, you hit here, insert rest. Of course, if you have the, of course, if you have it highlighted, if you have this part highlighted here, this part highlighted, the rest will come before the sound. And the same thing goes with it, with adding another note. Same thing goes with adding another note. If you want it to come after, you have to make sure that you don't highlight this note and the rest too. So let's add another note. And, well, well it came before. You can shift it up and down to change the, the pitch. To change the note, you can shift it up or down. Let's clear it and get a new one. Project's modified, save it, no. Okay, this is with voice bank and you're going to have to like, that's my Utaho there. This is Ruko, that's Ritsu and that's Teto and blah, blah, blah. We're gonna play with Teto. And there she is. Click on it, official Viper Chan. Yeah. Just look at that nice, just hear that nice yeah sound. Yeah. Now we're going to like unclick this, add another A. This Notice how it came after it. Notice how it came after and not before like the other one. That's because the, fun, the, the notes before, the lyric before, is not highlighted. If it's in blue, then the then the note that you insert will come after that one. But if it's highlighted, then it will come before. Do you understand that? Uh, I hope you do. Now, if you want to change the lyric, you have to double click this. You have to double click this and you can edit the lyric and then type in a new one. I'm just gonna put, rah. Of course, this, this Utao of mine cannot read of course, this Utao of mine is retarded and cannot read here. It cannot read Ramashi. So I'm just gonna set it back to. It automatically went back to English, so I'm gonna change it to Hiragana again. And then I'm just gonna press Ra. Right here. There you go. And then. When you want more than one note, you have to drag, click, hold, and drag. And then. Nah. There we go. So that's basically how you like add notes. So that's pretty much the basics on adding notes. I hope you have a good time reading this, even though it's 